This is an homage to two of my favorite artists, uh, uh, the great uh, geniuses of Mad Magazine, Sergio Aragones and Al Jaffe. These two guys were uh, thinkers, imaginers, and writers, and wonderful artists. The history of humor has its, a special chapter called Mad, and these guys built that chapter. Sergio with this, this extremely deft way of, of making microscopically small drawings say big things and without words. My family arrived in Mexico when I was like four years old and we came via France. So when I arrived to Mexico, I didn't spoke in Spanish, it was just French and French was my first language. So maybe it's because of the lack of language. I was always drawing when I went to school. I was telling stories to my friends and I was drawing them. So I was always a, the storyteller. I come more from writing. You know, you get little inputs from everything. And you draw and one day you're drawing ducks and the next day you're doing adventure because you saw in a comic strip and that's what starts developing your interest. So it, I think that every day looking at things, that's what inter that makes a cartoonist. To me, the, when you have an, a, a combination of simplicity and uh, sophistication, you have eloquence, and that's what he has. When I went to MAD, the reason was that every magazine that I went, all of them said, this is too crazy for us, you should go to MAD. But I knew that in MAD, they didn't have these uh, humor gags, gag they had stories, they had satire on movies, on television, and everything, but gags they didn't have. So I knew it would be no point to go there, to be rejected, but I had to go, because everybody said, you have to go to Matt. And I arrived, and they liked what they saw in my portfolio, and I stayed, and it was just a fantastic experience. Suddenly working for the magazine that I admired the most, with the greatest artists that they were living there. It was just amazing.